Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. This is my friends at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host, Mikey. Today, we're going to finish the toggle wrap. I know about time. I've had so much drama in my life, I can hardly stand it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on the finishing of the neckband, and it's going to go all the way through the, the piece uh, from the base all the way up through the back of the shoulders and back down the other side. It says to start on the left side here. So starting with here, finishing to da -da -da, left front so the way that i'm reading this and i could be wrong so you can correct me if i'm wrong when i'm wearing this this is on my left this is the left side that we finish with because when i think about it uh we had the left side this is where the left side was that i finished so that's what I, that's what my assumption is going to be so that's what i'm going to go for it we have to start on the wrong side so when we have this i have my stitch marker up it's facing up so that was the right side you can also see all the nice texture so that's the right side so when i go to start i want to start like this just fold it up and we're going to begin along this edge using the same color so let's begin I'm going to create a slip knot and start and this is such a hard round i've almost been scared of this but now that i really look at the instructions i shouldn't have been so i'm going to start off right in the edge and we're going to evenly space a single crochet i'm using the same size hook by the way and i'm going to evenly space out my single crochets along so right where i can see the edging i can just slam that in but where it's going to get kind of dicey and that you have to really think about it is when it starts to do this section right here so just evenly space out a single crochet all the way around and you're going to come down the opposite side of the other side of your uh, wrap and you'll end right here so let's do that together and uh, just evenly space and this is row number one just so that you don't misunderstand when you get to a corner like in the top of the back of the neck you are not adding or subtracting any stitches you're just following it around okay so it's just going to have a nice contour and so you don't have to worry about adding or subtracting any stitches for any of those turns just go with it and don't think twice <laughs> so i'm coming all the way across to the other side so i've gone up over the shoulders and back down and so now what i need to do when i finish this i need to do uh, rows number two three and four so now that we've gone over the first time the contouring is actually looking really good see how it contours on its own so that's pretty awesome so now do rows number two three and four just going back and forth with one single crochet in each and i'll be back at the at that moment at the end of number four so i'm now back here on the end of number four so i'm back on the left hand side once again this is where i started so i've gone there and back there and back so now we're going to do number five, but number five, we're gonna go all the way around. So not only are we gonna go up and over, but when we get to the bottom of the other side, we're gonna just automatically just a single crochet around and just to have a nice finished edge. So you should see that beautiful contour just like this. On number five, what's gonna happen is that you're gonna come up and around the shoulder and back down and the button holes are here. So just after this turns, what's going to happen is that you were going to chain three, skip three, and therefore you'll leave a hole for the toggle button. There's only two toggle button holes in this thing. So you'll do it the one time and then you'll single crochet the next five and then another time. If you wanna add more buttons, you probably can, but that's up to you. So I want you to start around number five and in round number five, you're just going to do a single crochet all the way until you get to the other side of where you can see that it's here. And this is where I'm gonna meet you here, okay? This is the right-hand side, and we'll put in some buttonholes at that moment. So just single crochet to that moment. I'll be right back. So I'm getting here, I'm close to the turn. If not, I'm right on top of it. So I wanna to commit to where the button is going to be. So I think it's about there somewhere. I'm kind of following this line. So when I want a buttonhole, I want to chain three, skip three, one, two, three, and then single crochet the next five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then I want another buttonhole, so chain three, skip three, one, two, three, and single crochet all the way down to the base. When we get to the base, we're going to continue our round for the very first time. It's almost going to be like going around an afghan at this moment. But it doesn't say to put any extra stitches in for the corners, but if you really want to, and that's what's what you feel like, then that's up to you. Um, but it says just to follow the contour, so it just kind of drags it. It's like the contour that you've been doing here. It looks really quite good, but that is a 90 degree turn, so you sometimes have the trust in the pattern. 
Okay, so what you're going to do then is just evenly space out your single crochets then going around at this point. So when I get to the base, I'm going to jump it and just get into the last one and just contour it around. So just follow it around and that kind of forms the bend on its own. Okay, so it's like a forced turn. More of a softer edge, I guess. So just a uh, single crochet all the way around and when you come back, you'll be back to where you started and that's where I'll pick you up next. So I'm coming all the way back around to where I started. I started here. So now I'm just going to slip stitch to where I started. And it actually turned out pretty good. So we got two more rounds to go. Hopefully that was good for you as it was for me. In this round, what we wanna do is we still wanna do a single crochet in each stitch, but when you get to those buttonholes, what I want you to do is put one single crochet in each of the chain three. Don't put it into a space because if you put it into each chain, it'll be equally spaced and it will be operating better for your button. So to start, you're just gonna chain one and then just slam in single crochets in each and do what I just said for the buttons. And then I'll meet you at the end of this round. And this is the second last round of your toggle wrap. So I'm coming all the way back around and I'm just going to slip stitch it to the beginning one. The last round of this whole thing is a reverse single crochet. It's also called a crab stitch. Some people don't like it, some people don't. So if you don't wanna do it, then don't just single crochet around. So just uh, to do the reverse, you're gonna chain one and you'll single crochet in the same one as the join. The next one is behind it. So you wanna come in behind into that stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through two. And you're gonna notice how this stitch work will look in about three stitches for now. So then go to the one before and you're going backwards. I don't know why people hate this stitch so much. You can leave that in the comments for me. Uh, maybe it's inconvenient or whatever. But anyway, you're just going to do this and it almost looks like a roping appearance. And you're gonna go all the way around and I'm going to meet you at the end of this round. This is the very last one. And we'll talk about doing the buttons in a moment. So I'm just coming to the end by the time I finish today, uh, the sun has already set. It's We had the times clock go back yesterday. So I wanna go to the very last one here and this is where I wanna hold. So I'm going to just cut this yarn. You notice that I never slip stitched yet to the beginning. This is my own personal technique. Because of the way that this looks, if you just slip stitch it, it looks like shit. So what I wanna do is just take this and put it into the tapestry needle. And I wanna to go to the original right here and pull it in like that. And then I'm gonna go back out and go back to where I was just to fill that space in. Now this is the back side of this and I can tell this by the stitch marker. And so what I wanna do is that I wanna favor the back here and I'm just gonna have this tie into a knot that will permanently hold. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna weave it in. The secret with weaving in the ends, you don't wanna go between the strands. You actually just wanna go into the fibers of the strands as well as in between. So it's harder for it to fall out. Uh, some people don't have a lot of luck with it, but you can leave that in the comments on how you feel about that or if you have a better way. And so I'm just weaving in the ends. And this is going to bring this to a conclusion of the stitch work itself. I'm going to talk about the buttons and I'm just going to lay this back out on the table and see my work. So I'm here at the filming desk. So it's too much for this. Um, it's too big. So I have the holes that are here now in the side. So what I want to do is I want to line it up and I want to mark it with a stitch marker on the other side of this. So I'm just going to put it, you put a stitch marker. That stitch marker where it's gonna go through is where you're going to sew your button. So I'll leave that for you. If you don't know how to sew on a button, there's videos here on YouTube to do that. And all you just gotta do now is just go through your project if you had any um, um, strands to tell you what the right side was, you can remove those. Those are all good to go. And now this is good. So I'd love to see what your creativity was on Facebook. And uh, this is the conclusion. And I actually bought buttons for this thing, but can you think that I know where they are? Nope. <laughs> yep. So this is the Iran toggle wrap. Thank you so much.